Hi guys, back again with another video. Now in this video, we're going to do the real life microphone sound test of the Truk BTG Neo. So uh, these are gaming headphones. So we're going to be testing this for microphone sound quality, how good it's going to be for phone calls. And if you're playing a game, uh, whether the other person will be able to hear you properly or not. So the entire sound in this video is going to be from the uh, mic on the buds itself. So let me just show you. Coming from here or here, one of them. So uh, hopefully my sound is clear. So let's go ahead and uh, start with the test. And then after seeing the results, we'll be talking more about it. So let's go. And it's dangerous, so I'm just doing it in a particular environment just to show you how the wind sound is So this is the kind of sound that you're going to get when you're riding the bike with the helmet on and the visor open. So this is a open safe helmet scenario. In this scenario, wind and background sound not be a big problem because the helmet itself is blocking the mic. So hopefully my sound is audible enough and the background sounds are not clear at all. So this is the kind of sound that you're going to get when you're riding the bike with the helmet on and the visor open. So this is a open safe helmet scenario. In this scenario, wind and background sound not be a big problem because the helmet itself is blocking the mic. So hopefully my sound is audible enough and the background sounds are not clear at all. Okay, so this is the kind of sound that you're going to get when you are uh, next to a lot of water. So there are 70 water fountains here. I am standing outside Sweden Small. So a lot of water sound. Hopefully my sound is audible enough and the background sound is not too overpowering. Okay, so this is the kind of sound that you're going to get when you're uh, near a lot of traffic. So I'm standing outside, I'm in Nora Mall now, a lot of traffic here. Hopefully my sound is audible enough and the background sounds are not too overpowering. Okay, so this is the kind of sound that you're going to get when you're uh, in a food court where there are a lot of people. So uh, hopefully my sound is audible enough and the background sounds are not too overpowering. Okay, so you guys have seen the video and let's talk about what was my experience with this. So, uh, now I was audible in uh, all the other situations except for the helmet scenario where, uh, I mean, without helmet one, so I was not audible at all. So, wind sound was bad. Uh, helmet scenarios, I was audible, but I noticed that there was a lot of crackling. Now, the crackling happens because this is a mic which has higher volume. So, your volume is high. So, um, now, generally, to remove crackling, people bring their mic volume a little lower. So this is a high one. So if you are using it in a closed environment, like if you're in the house and stuff, you won't have a problem with it. You just uh, speak at, um, uh, I mean, in a regular volume, no problem. But if you're loud, this is going to make it louder. So even now, I'm in a cafe, and you can hear the background sound also coming in, and you will hear my sound is quite loud. It, it, I don't know, it's personal preference, depends on you whether you like it or not. Uh, traffic si uh, situation, I think it was good. Uh, all the mall situation and everything else, I think it was good enough. It, it's a decent mic, but uh, if you're wanting to use it in the helmet, I won't recommend it that much. Now, the gaming earphones, so it's mainly focused towards gaming. So now you know what it can do. Uh, if you want to talk about bass, Good base if you want to talk about gaming, it's got low latency mode, really good with gaming. So all of that, good. Microphone, you decide. So oh, that's it for this video. If you like the video, please subscribe, hit the like button and to comment. And I'll see you again with another video. Bye-bye.